Okay. Um, I came from over there, which means I need to head over here. Yeah. So the fourth floor is down here, which, you know, of course, I'm going to assume it doesn't give me any new info or anything. There's still rooms leading up, the gate's blocking my way, so there's still at least one more floor. That is exactly what I imagined. Like, it is impressive how close to that I have pictured in my head. This is the physics lab, and it's less like a classroom or like some kind of research institute. Is that where it came from, or is that where we're... Taka's here. That's a different room. Okay. Taka's here. They must use these <coughs> for physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. Sorry, one my coin. You're fine. Talk to our buddy. <sighs> See how he's doing. Hey, Ishimara. Hey, Taka, do you think this place is some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Not well, I see. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue to where to start with this. Well, here, I'll give you a head start. What goes up must come down. Gravity? Yeah, physics. Ooh, gravity. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! What? Huh? You wanna do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's the time machine! Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope Speak! The ultimate physicist, although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? Uh, so I can go back in uh, time! Taka. Okay, then let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? What? You sound pretty disappointed. And actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey. Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you can even live on Mars. But with that discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go around messing with it. You break it, and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that, to go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. He would have just popped back up and dropped a coin in my hand and then disappeared again. That's just my cannon at this point. I don't suppose you've changed. No. Oh, it's the door behind there. Okay. Yeah. I was like, why can't I interact with the. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. This is the oh, equipment Jack. room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. This place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. Agreed. I'm it's so tempting. Disagree. I just want to dunk myself right in it. Please don't. Of course, genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. We will be best friends. There's a bunch of flies here. Files. Files it's here. Flies. Files here. <laughs> Probably old lab files or research data. You know, lab flies. They're everywhere. <laughs> There's a monitor here, yeah, too. Probably old lab flies. <laughs> but what's the point of putting the one in here? I mean, you need them everywhere. That way, if someone's in there, and there's a meta. This is a tarp. 
I read it as trap. Uh, there isn't anything strange about it. It seems perfectly ordinary to me. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment scattered all over. They're all covered in dust, too. They obviously haven't been used in a long time. Alright. Hey, Jack. Um, uh, really is unbearable. A nice long bath and a tub of formaldehyde, that's true happiness. Just thinking about it makes me ha. Huh. Alright, Jack. You do you. Honestly, you're about as good. I don't good know what formaldehyde is, really. What? I don't know what formaldehyde is. Like, I recognize the word, but I don't know what. Was it this is. here before? <clears throat> yeah, yes. Oh, I was at this angle, that's why. I had to move yeah. it all the way over here to be able to see it. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime-style design on it. Who oh, would like that? It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of this was an actual clue. I'm just getting more I mean, confused. I that found. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head <laughs> to the dining hall. Way to say the same thing twice, Makoto. Yeah. Oh, hey, yes, uh, I am. Uh, yes, I am. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was Aoyasa Hina. Donuts. Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice is immediately drained out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. She already Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. But wasn't it your stomach? Oh wait, what the fuck? Giving her a real accent? No. <laughs> but wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? <laughs> well, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know... <laughs> I guess my memory is kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say it like that. <clears throat> they say that a goldfish eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Miss mm. Asahina's mm. probably pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second. Hey! You of all people don't have any room to talk! Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Sorry, said that. Besides that, you... <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk product? Bastard! The... <coughs> Stay away from her, you fiend! Anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Mm. Right. Okay. Mm. Um... It's no use. Thanks, Taka. It's no up. use! Take this! Mm -hmm. There's an art room on the third floor and had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Oh, that was him. Hmm? A digital camera. Oh, that was your... God damn it, I'm missing everything. <coughs> I'm misunderstanding everything. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing's like a kid's toy. Looks like it could store five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. Rude. She's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this, Ifumi? Of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I would pay to have that guy get my hands on it? To pay that guy to get my hands on it, okay. Wait, that's my camera! What? Where did you find it? In the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. 
Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? Time machines. However... <laughs> but look at it! It's got all messed up! Like, when someone steals a sticker from your collection and you buy a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not mint condition. I don't need any more. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. I have concerns. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Especially considering we can just do this. Conjures pictures of things we've seen in the middle of the air. Everyone can see this, right? I do this during the trial all the time. <laughs> I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they'd just give us a rest already. For serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. Not one of them bulged. So in but the end. it would seem escape via the third floor is as possible, impossible as we fear. I see. I, um, yes, a hero. <clears throat> oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakugan a little while ago. What? You Where? Where was he? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, he was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have gotten from the library. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> Wait, did we just lose out on our conversation? She just ran off. Is, is she okay? <laughs> we shouldn't concern ourselves with her. Cut! F you ruin everything, Hagakure. <laughs> I don't know which one should be the last one. Which one should be the last one? Uh, probably Aoi. Oh, do Kyoko. Correct. <laughs> she agrees. That are there was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, that's probably an air purifier. Apparently, it's an air purifier. Huh? huh? There's something like that doing here? What's something like that doing there? Is the device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get it. You and Sakura would not be impressed. Okay. okay, I honestly. Was that it? Oh, I guess that was it. I honestly thought he wasn't there. I thought, I thought Ishimaru just was gone. So, um, um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't have to be a donut related discovery, did it? What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there, or even vitamin supplements would be fine? <laughs> I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. Let's hope people don't start drugging people. I see. I see. That's disappointing. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. <clears throat> I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go, you know. Maybe talk to Kyoko again? Okay. Maybe she had to be the. Oh, yeah. I guess we had to talk to her again after the initial thing. That gigantic machine is an air purifier? Oh, no, never mind. I don't know, talk man. To... Wait, did you talk to this a lot? Yes. No? 
No. No. I don't even think I <laughs> saw her. <laughs> I, you can't see her. <laughs> you cannot see her. I know. To check. All right. <laughs> There's one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I've no doubt that our student life here will be more, even more enjoyable because of it. Hmm. Will someone join me in a game of a fellow sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone has to say. There we go. That was useless. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of bothered, kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No. <laughs> no, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... It was the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well then. Then the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're still alive. They left the school and they took the picture. Is that right? That's impossible, after all. We we kinda watched them die. Well at least two of them. We saw it with our own eyes. Yeah. They're all dead. Even either murdered or executed. They're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko. And then there's... Sayaka. My wife. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died, there's no way any of them are still alive. Unless... We're... In a game! So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Photoshop's real. Forged? Is that all there is to it? Yeah. Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there's something that's been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> There's also something that's been bothering me, which I would like. To what do you mean? Before. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? Man, her poker face is awful. Yeah, you no. Know, Hina's a good girl. Good, not lying girl. Yeah. It varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell, something you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Uh, wrong. There are definitely some people who can hide their tail completely. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? No. No, Hina. She, I she's you, she's Hina. fucking with you. It's fucking stupid. Actually, no. Huh? But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's not... That's no fair! <laughs> mm, if you're gonna lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? You do realize you guys witnessed one of your friends be killed last night after you condemned him to death. It is completely understandable that somebody would want to stay in the room and not come to breakfast. Nah, no. The fact that Taka actually came out of his room and slumped here and sitting here brain dead is impressive. Yeah. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? I don't know. Why are you guys judging somebody? 
You feel guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well, I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. A ghost? You mean that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But, I mean, ghosts are... See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe you no whatever you say, no matter what. So you can tell us exactly what happened. If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. Oh, definitely. We definitely remember this image. Yeah. Hell yeah. Look at those titties. Look at that ass. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donut. Huh? Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding that time. So I know, sorry, I feel really bad about that. Hina. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. No, right, locker room. Yeah, okay. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. I mean, it's pretty obvious who that is. Yeah. It was Chihiro! No way, a g ghost! You're a psychic, dude! Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. I I really don't understand how he is supposed to be the ultimate psychic or whatever. The ultimate I don't clairvoyant. think you know, but his whole thing is that 100% right 30% of the time. So I'm pretty sure he's just gotten lucky and guessed correct enough that they were like. So oh, he's the it. actual, uh, like, he's the actual ultimate lucky student. I'm just, I'm just over well, here. Only when it comes to clairvoyant or pretending to be clairvoyant. <sighs> okay. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Then all we have to do is go for and see for ourselves, right? So I just realized something. What? It's actually time to stop here. Oh. So before we figure out what the hell is going on here and why Chihiro's come back from the dead, and I just somehow muted my thing, I need to figure out how I did that. Um, so before we did that, you know, I'll see you all next time. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I like how Sakura's natural hair color is white because her eyebrows are white too. But yet her fucking eyelashes are still black. Why? Y yeah? What? Or, like, my, my eyelashes aren't, like, red. What the fuck? <laughs> no, but eyelashes are gonna typically be close to the color of your eyebrows or your hair. So, if you have white hair and white eyebrows, your eyelashes shouldn't be black. Oh, my... They would be white. Oh, mine are... Or at least gray. Yeah, my eyelashes are black. I didn't know they could be anything but black. Yeah, if your hair color... It all depends on your hair color. 
Okay, that's wild. Fun fact to end the day. 